My hair looks really, really strange today, so I do apologize in advance the fact I look like I just crawled out of bed. Because I promise you I didn't. Really, really don't want to play Dig. Oh, thank you. It's actually been a really long time since I've actually made a video, and that is literally because the last two months fucked my brain from both ends. I literally got spit roasted through both ears into my fucking brain and now it won't work anymore. It won't work. It, it's gone. It's given up. So I've been thinking about what I should do with my uploads and I've decided that I kind of want to base it more around, you know, personality. Well, personality. This is where the fight kicks in. Personality versus like clips and stuff like that. Like, don't get me wrong. I still hit clips and my, in fact, my episode came out on Riot just yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. Um, I'll put a link to it in the description if you do want to check it out, or I will be uploading it here in the next couple of days. But yeah, like I was saying, I think I'd rather just use this channel uh, for me to just talk more than anything. Like, don't be wrong, I still want to do my little uh, mini targets and stuff like that and episodes, because I have been completely killing it lately. Like, I've got another four clips ready for my next episode, even though my first one came out yesterday. But no, I was actually thinking of what story I could tell, and me being single as fuck as I indeed am, I thought I'd share with you the first time someone ever kissed me. And I'm kind of praying that none of my family watched this. So yeah, basically, I went to my first ever house party when I was 14 years old. I was only 14. And, um, well, yeah. It was kind of interesting, to be honest, for the first time I'd ever actually gone out to someone's house and drank. Yes, I was 14 years old, and yes, I was going out drinking. I know, classy lady, aren't I? So basically, we turned up, and his mum was stood outside with a bunch of 14 to 16-year-olds, because some of his friends were a lot older. Basically, this guy's mum was stood outside the house where the party was, which was full of 14 to 18-year-olds, so children, pretty much, and she basically charged us all a beer each just to get in. And you'd think, oh, haha, ha, very funny. No, I had to give this lady one of the drinks that I brought with me just so she'd let me in so she could drink it. This lady was fucking pissed out of her head before any of us even turned up. Now, there's another part of this story. Uh, this leads up to the first time I was ever kissed because, oh God, it, just thinking about it makes me want to cry. It was the worst experience of my life so far. Now, I was there with a couple of friends because obviously we knew the guy who owned the house anyway. Yeah, basically me, my friends, my, my two best friends, I'm not going to name anyone. Um, we were basically stood in the kitchen straight away doing shots because it's like, oh, okay, hi. It was only apple sours, but for a 14 year old to be drinking apple sours, it kind of sounds bad the more I think about it. So we were doing shots in there and little did we realize that these shot glasses were not normal shot glasses. They were double shots. So usually if, for example, right now, like if I did it now, I, it wouldn't bother me nearly as much. Um, I'd probably be fine, or I would realize that it's a double shot and be more careful with what I'm doing. But me and my friends being stupid, we had six shots each, double shots, so 12, but we didn't know this at the time. 12 shots each, hadn't eaten anything, first night out, we'd been there about 10 minutes at this point, and we'd already got through a full bottle of this sours. And it, 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 at first you feel fine, and then it starts to hit you and you don't feel as good anymore. Need to focus it in a little bit. There you go. That's way better. Sorry about that. So after we'd done the shots, me and my best friend, we went to go and play beer pong, which honestly is still the most fun drinking game ever. And I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty damn good at it as well. We went off playing that. And while me and my best friend were playing that, my other best friend was still in the kitchen having a drink. And like I said before, we didn't realize that the shots that we were drinking were in fact double. So she'd opened another bottle. This makes me and my friends sound like a bunch of really bad alcoholics, but we literally just did not realize. And it was the first time we'd been out and there was a lot of older people there and we were trying to impress everyone with how much a 14 year old could drink before they die practically. So basically she had gone back into the kitchen and had drank another four. So that's another eight shots, another eight shots of apple sours. So at the point, what was it then? She, 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 she drank 20 shots. 20 shots within 20 minutes of being there. I'm not even kidding you. We were not sipping on these things. Pour it out, bang, pour it out, bang, again, over and over and over without any breaks. It was horrendous. So it ended up that the girl who had been drinking these 20 shots in 20 minutes uh, basically ended up getting alcohol poisoning within, I think it was 35 minutes of arriving at a party and she had alcohol poisoning. 35 minutes, first night out ever, and she had to be taken to hospital. Like, it's not very good, is it? Now, basically what had happened was I'd started a conversation with this lad 
I think he was 16. I was 14, he was 16. I started chatting to him in the hallway, you know, as you do. Uh, at this point, I'm pretty sure I was fairly intoxicated. I mean, I didn't drink much after I had the shots. And if I did, I didn't like drink loads or constantly. So it wasn't too bad. Uh, so I kind of saved it a little bit. If I had carried on the way I would, I would have been with my mate in hospital. <laughs> so yeah, talking to this guy and you know, it's just having a laugh. I was like, okay. And this guy, yeah, again, I'm not going to name any names, but he was no Channing Tatum. That's all I'm going to say. You know, he was, he was funny looking and I'm not saying that mean, like he was generally funny looking. So yeah, we'd been talking for a little while and you know, it's like, oh, okay, this guy seems really nice. And then it, wherever I went, he started to follow. So we went into the kitchen, had another couple of drinks, this and the other. And then he started getting really, really, really drunk. And we, instead of pouring him a vodka lemonade, we got him a glass of water without telling him. And he drank it and then proceeded to act pissed out his head. I mean... Oh, fuck! So I remember I was sat next to the couch and you know when people get a little bit too friendly and they start wrapping their arms around you and stuff and you feel really fucking uncomfortable and you just want them to get off and leave you alone? That was exactly how I felt at that time. I just wanted to be as far away from this guy as possible. I started sobering up after this point because of what happened to my friend and I was worried about her. My other best friend was pissed out at her at this time as well and I had to look after everyone. So I didn't drink after this point, basically. By the way, I know this is really disgusting and it makes me feel sick just saying it, but another friend of mine, a, a lad, yet again, I'm not gonna name him, but he got that drunk. He pissed himself on the couch. He actually pissed himself, like generally peed everywhere on this couch. I ended up, oh, it makes me so grossed out every single time. I ended up lying where he had pissed and it stank, but I was too tired and too drunk to give a shit at this point, but I regretted it in the morning because I stunk of piss and it makes me feel disgusting to this day. But yeah, so I was lying down trying to have a nap. Well, not have a nap, go to sleep. It's six in the morning. I've been traumatized by my friends being hospitalized and crying and this, that and the other getting practically fucking stalked by this creepy guy I've just met. So I lie down and I'm facing the back of the couch because, you know, the lights are still on, there's people still around. I just want to go to sleep at this point. And next thing you know, I feel something behind me. And what had happened was this guy had got on the couch as well, proper fucking spooning me from behind. And I just, I just flipped shit completely. I turned around and I said, literally face to face with him like that. I said, what the fuck are you doing? And then it happened. I, my first kiss virginity was stolen and all I'm gonna say is it was like I was making out with a fucking octopus. It uh, uh, uh. Might I just remind you I did not do anything back whatsoever. I was too repulsed by what had just happened like actually repulsed It was the most disgusting thing I've ever done in my entire life I swear I could taste every single thing he had drank that night. So all I could taste was water basically <laughs> I mean, you don't know you don't know gross until a very, very intoxicated person kisses you. And this wasn't even just a peck, it was a full on orally raped kiss. That's how bad it was. I'm surprised I didn't break his fucking nose, to be honest. That's what's gonna happen if you try it on. I'm not fucking interested, people. It's not gonna happen. Not mean to burst your bubble or cock block here, but ain't about that life. Ain't about that life.